In this video, I'll share four career tips for physical therapists who are driven and motivated to work at their highest level possible. This first tip is to innovate even if it goes unnoticed. One of the best things you can do to avoid burnout in the field of physical therapy is to stay creative and to look for opportunities to innovate. Think about job processes, PT marketing strategies, teaching opportunities, and technology in your clinic. Challenging yourself to become an expert in these areas may lead to new career opportunities and help set you apart and your PT resume apart during your next job interview. Number two is to seek growth opportunities, but don't let them stifle your potential. Sometimes growth opportunities or job advancements fall into your lap as a PT. You might find yourself to be in line to be the next clinic manager or supervisor for your clinic, which these can be great opportunities to grow and develop, especially if you're interested in this side of PT. But for those of you who are entrepreneurial or business-minded, be careful not to let the allure of management or director role keep you from your true potential. If you're interested in opening your own clinic or partnering with a gym for a cash-based side gig or getting more involved with teaching continuing ed classes or doing consulting work, don't look at management role as a stepping stone to those opportunities. Yes, you'll learn valuable skills as a clinic manager, but you have to ask yourself the question, does it align with my goal to do whatever it is that you want? If a manager role is absolutely the next step you want in your career, go for it. If it's not your true passion or goal though, be careful because it may suck the life out of your entrepreneurial dreams. Number three is to invest in yourself. Most people will suggest that you need to continue to invest in education to better your skills as a physical therapist, and I agree, but that's not what I mean by invest in yourself. I literally mean to invest your money and to get serious about saving for your future, especially retirement. Too many new PT grads are drowning in student loans and they're putting their retirement savings on the back burner. Unfortunately, they're missing one crucial element of building wealth. They aren't building a habit of saving. Become a disciplined saver early in your career, even if that means just start by saving 5% of your pay into retirement. Begin the savings habit early and take advantage of time to compound every dollar you've saved. I know what you're thinking. I still have student loans. I can't save for retirement. Look, I want you to pay them off quickly too. And I know that that interest rate is over 6% for some of you or even higher if you have private student loans. I'm not suggesting that you invest your 401k because the market will potentially earn more than the interest rate on your loans. That's complicated and unnecessary to analyze this early in your career, the principle is to develop a habit of saving and to become a disciplined investor. That's it. Number four is this, don't expect someone else to be your advocate. Look, I hope that you have a supervisor or a therapy director that steps up to support, defend, to promote you for new opportunities. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. If you're a hardworking, productive therapist, you need to be your own best advocate by tracking your successes and presenting them to your leaders at the right time. Know that it's possible to share your value that you bring into the clinic without bragging or sounding conceited. Look, the next time you meet with your supervisor, bring up these wins by framing them with a goal that you've set. For example, last month I set a goal for myself to lower cancellation rates. I started to systematically remind every patient of their appointments at the end of their session and it seems to have really worked in reducing my cancellation rate from 12% to 9% a 25% improvement your manager might be able to see the drop in your cancel rate but unless you present your side of the story they may never know that you took initiative to improve it so those are the career tips for the week innovate in the clinic seek growth opportunities but don't let them stifle your potential invest in yourself and be your own advocate if you found this video to be helpful I would love it if you gave it a like below also if you're interested in more videos from the channel be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.